All right, what's going on, y'all? We finally just got to the gym. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. I'm gonna hit you guys with the intro in a minute, but today we're gonna be training some chest at my apartment gym. I'm gonna be showing you guys pretty much how you guys can destroy chest, shoulders, and triceps with very minimal equipment. So I'm trying to do something different today to give you guys a bit more information and value. So if you're ever traveling or on the go, you guys can still get it done and remain with no excuses. But let's head in the gym and we'll get going into it. All right guys, so like I said before, we are at my apartment gym today. We're gonna be training chest. I've kind of been in a slump a little bit recently. I haven't been wanting to go as crazy in the gym. I still have been training super hard, but I've just been busy with work, so I've been wanting to more focus on the work life, but still getting the gym in. I'm still hitting my cardio, so make sure you're not slacking. But today's video I wanna show you guys is sponsored by Total Pro Fitness. I've been using Total Pro Fitness. Basically, it is gym equipment like these. These are wraps right now, wrist wraps. And if you guys don't know what wrist, wrist wraps are, these are for your grip strength, so you can wrap the bar around, make sure it's not easy, it won't really give you calluses and then as well they also have knee sleeves belts so as i train i wear a belt almost on everything i do just to make sure i keep my waist tiny try not to expand my core as i'm growing so i keep that tiny waist build that v taper and look better overall but i've been using this gym equipment probably since 2018 2019 they sent me gear a long time ago it's been very reliable they've always taken care of me but i love their leather belt i love their wrap they don't break and it's super cheap and affordable so if you guys see me wearing them throughout the video and how they can be utilized i'll show you guys how you can use them but you definitely need some a belt a solid belt and some good wrist straps to take your progress to the next level so if you guys are not click the link below head over to the website grab some now but without further ado let's get into the workout all right guys so first exercise i'm going to be doing today just to maximize blood flow get the chest warmed up get things rolling and get that kind of elbow joints ready is i'm gonna do some cable chest fly so I'm gonna do like one to two warm up sets. And with all my exercises, I'm always doing like two to three working sets. I'm not a guy to do like four to five working sets because that's just too much volume, too much exhaustion. But we're gonna take these sets to failure, really push the threshold on each one and just kind of maximize blood flow. So then we're warm, then we're ready to get into a good chest press and we're gonna go on from there. But really quick, I just wanna show you guys proper form. So when we're doing the cable chest fly, what I want you to do is you always wanna have one foot out in front of you. So you're, you're leaning, having that stability but in your body is in that plane right here. And the first thing you always wanna keep your chest up, shoulder blades back, because if you roll them forward, it's gonna activate shoulders in the chest fly. So if I keep my chest up, shoulder blades tucked back, and I'm going right here, that's gonna make me emphasize the pump of my chest extremely versus this. You know, you can totally see the difference between that versus this. So you can use these for literally a million things, but like for me, I like to wear them because one, it just gives me more wrist support. Cause like, for example, if we're pressing heavy, your, your wrist can get flimsy. So when you have it wrapped tight, it'll keep your wrist locked super tight and more supported while you're pressing. But something for like this, if you want more grip strength, you can even like, I know it's as simple as doing cable flies, but you can literally just wrap it around like this and roll this towards you. So now this is super tight on my wrist and I have more like grip strength to stay sturdy while I'm pressing. So for example, it's more tight here while I'm pressing versus if I didn't have it, I mean, I could be a lot more flimsy, but with it being locked, keeps that wrist stable. So we'll show you more with presses, but there's a million ways to use these and that's just one of them. Now I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go into like I said before, I want to kind of keep it to the cables today. I do have a Smith machine to use, but I kind of want to change it up. I've been following the same routine. So I'm gonna bring an incline bench over here. We're gonna do incline cable chest flies, really hit that upper deck. And I'll show you guys how the wraps and my belt will be applied during a heavy press. All right, so this is how we're gonna have the setup for exercise two. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier, but how you're gonna get into this, cause it's gonna be a little bit tricky. What I recommend for you guys is Still keep the wraps on, and I'm gonna put my belt on in a minute once I get heavier. But how we're gonna do these is first things first, of course, same thing applies, chest up. You're gonna keep your shoulder blades tucked back because when we keep them tucked backwards, when I press, it's gonna help emphasize that chest more and get a full range of motion instead of rolling them forward and activating the shoulder. So how we're gonna pick these up is you're gonna grab one another. I want you to lean down, drive your shoulder blade into the pad, scoop it up and do the same thing, thing on this side. And now we're even, ready to get locked and loaded. And instead of keeping your elbows out here pressing, 
that's gonna help activate shoulders. So you wanna keep your elbows tucked inward, almost like a tricep press right here and drive through because this is gonna help get a better chest activation overall. So kind of find the weight where you can do eight to 12 perfectly. And then just make sure to get a good contraction at the top like this, slow on the way bottom, and then move into your working sets from there. It's about that time when the pump cover comes off. Oh, got a little chest pump going, but um, we're about to get into the first set. Since I'm going a little bit heavier now, this is when I put on my belt. So whenever you guys are in the gym and you're bracing your core super hard, and this, is, this goes for bodybuilders. So if you guys wanna keep a small waist, like if you're doing back rows, we wear a belt to keep our waist in to press against the belt so that we're not using just our core to brace because your core is a muscle that grows. And we wanna have a strong core, but we don't wanna have a wide waist. So that's why we brace ourselves with a belt like Total Pro Fitness just to optimize that. And me as a bodybuilder, I keep it on during any like strenuous lift. So this will be a strenuous lift because I'm going heavier pressing, but it's a nice thick belt. All right, so the shark is moving into exercise number three, you guys. Feeling a little crazy today. I wanted to take a break from pressing just to give my, uh, my joints a break, but I feel good. I'm just gonna go for good light squeeze contraction. Like I said, I need to switch it up every once in a while. Not all the time am I motivated to kill it, but I still show up and do the job and that's all that matters. So we're gonna do a little bit incline press. I'm still warming up here, but you guys see the gist. We're gonna warm up and I'll be using my wrist straps because with the Smith Machine 2, with how it unhooks, it can almost wrap perfectly into a tot, uh, tight lock on your wrist. So I'll show you guys how to do that. But since we're pressing again, wearing the belt, gonna stay sturdy on this one. Gonna try to go for like a beautiful 15 perfect rep, pause, good contraction, switching it up. Try to keep it slow and controlled. I'm gonna probably go a little bit more controlled. I was trying to feel it out, but whenever you're doing an incline press or any exercise, you guys wanna have control of the movement. So I always recommend to be safe and to make sure you're controlling it, like a two to three second negative, so that you are controlling it. Because if you're just flying it around, you do not have control of the motion. And if you don't have control of the motion, you're not gonna be optimizing growth as much. You're more so training for strength performance with explosion instead of controlled for growth. Obviously, first thing, no matter what, to have the best shoulder flexion and mobility for your wrists and just the pathway of the movement, you always wanna go shoulder width apart like, cause shoulder width apart, that's gonna help get the most deepest range of motion and the most optimal chest squeeze. Cause if you look here, if I'm going too wide, it's not as optimal, but if I go here, shoulder width apart, as deep as possible, bigger range of motion, better activation, more growth. So shoulder width apart on this, we're gonna go chest up. And as you see, I'm rolling my shoulder blades back. So chest up, prop, shoulder blades are tucked back. So now keeping them tucked back, I'm only using the chest and this is my biggest range of motion. So going down, I can't go any further, therefore the chest is only getting activated. If I roll them forward, we're gonna be using shoulder. So shoulder width apart, chest up, shoulder blades tacked, and we are going to press. Shoo! I can't get out. All right, so moving into the final exercises. I wanna speed it up a little bit, get my heart rate going. So I'm gonna be supersetting a cable lateral raise, single arm, I'm not doing dumbbell. I don't need to wear a belt for this one. If you do feel like you're going super heavy and you're having strenuous activity in your core, then put on your belt. But I actually have a cuff, so I'm just gonna stick my hand in it. And using a cuff, I'll show you really quick. It's a cuff that you can do like kickbacks with. I wrap it around my wrist. And why I like to use the cuff is because it takes the pressure off my forearm and puts it directly on my delt. So doing this, you could probably just see the activation difference. It puts more emphasis on the delt, so I don't have to worry about gripping it and holding it. It's gonna lead for a better overall movement. And then as well, I'm gonna be setting up a cable right here, and we're gonna be doing a tricep push down um, to superset that. So I'm gonna use the rope. We're gonna do some tricep push down. It's gonna be a lot of bada bing like this. Boom, get a nice pump. Supersetting these two, we're gonna aim for 12 to 15 reps on each, and we're gonna finish off the exercise. All right, family, so that's gonna wrap up the video for today. So if you guys enjoyed, as always, make sure to drop a like on the video. Click subscribe, subscribe to all channels, and don't forget, huge shout out to our sponsor, Total Pro Fitness for today, for the amazing lifting straps, weight belt, 
and overall training gear. So if you guys wanna take your training to the next level, you guys need that support in your life to help take your fitness journey to the next level, click the link in the description, head over to Amazon, grab all of our products now, but turn the bell notifications on so you guys get reminded every time we have a video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Right.